All right, guys and gals, today we are talking about the hydraulic flip axle, specifically the operations for stowing and transport position. Hydraulically operating your flip axle speeds up the process and saves you money in the long run. First thing first, safety. Before operating any equipment, always familiarize yourself with the manual and safety warnings. Don't forget your brakes and avoid operation until all personnel are clear. All right, let's get into it. That's Keith, our product specialist. He's talking about laying the axle in the wheel area, which is exactly why we're here today. Say hi, Keith. Lower the front of the trailer to the ground. This relieves pressure on the lower pins and it's almost impossible for the trailer to roll away on you in this position. Remember, safety first. Dump the air on the trailer and flip axle suspension. Next, disconnect all air and electrical lines to the flip axle. Make sure these lines are free and clear of all brackets used for flipping the axle. Install your chain ups. The chain ups prevent the airbags and shocks from overextending. Inflate the trailer suspension, then remove the lower attaching pins. They might be a bit snug. It helps to raise or lower the rear of the trailer using the raise and lowering valve. This will help free up that tension for easy removal. The rest of the action takes place at the gooseneck. Find the valve handle labeled hydraulic flip axle. Here's the fun part. Lift that handle and watch the magic happen. Before taking off, secure the flip axle of the trailer and confirm the air ride controls on the trailer are returned to standard transport position. Simple, one person operation. It doesn't get any better than that. Next up, let's talk about the transport position. Don't forget to refresh yourself on safety precautions. You can prevent injury and damage by being aware of your surroundings. Go ahead and lower the trailer to the ground again. Controls are on the gooseneck. Make sure your chain ups are still in place, then lower the valve handle to flip that axle back to the ground. Reinstall your lower attaching pins. You may need to use the raise and lowering valve back by the flip axle again to release that tension. With the flip attached, move the hydraulic control lever to float position. Remove those chain ups and reconnect all air and electrical lines to the flip axle at the rear. Finally, Use the raising and lowering valve on the trailer until the airbags on the flip are refilled to required capacity. Then return the air valve to transport position. Alright, that's it. Now get out of here and get hauling. Listen, if you have any questions about the trailers or the process, give us a call. Toll free 1-800-843-3324 or go ahead and leave us a comment. 